Hello and welcome to the Raspberry Pi video with me, the Raspberry Pi Guy. The date is the 14th of July 2014 and some very exciting news has just been announced by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The release of the aptly named Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. That's right, a new Raspberry Pi with some awesome improvements. And I have one right in front of me. As you can see, there are quite a few visual differences between the B Plus and the old Model B which I've placed above it. The foundation has taken this chance to really push and improve the current generation of hardware. So without further ado, let's take a look at the changes that are being made. First off, you'll probably see that the B Plus has a far more logical and orderly layout compared to the Model B. The new Pi has all of the main ports on just two of the sides. They're neatly lined up and there is no overhang of things such as the USB ports or composite video, unlike the older generation of Pis. Some of you may have noticed that it now has four USB slots instead of two. This is a great addition as it effectively eliminates the need for those cluttered USB hubs. Moving clockwise, we see that we still have the 10100 Ethernet connector. That hasn't changed. Moving on to the next side, you'll notice two things. This little black port here, and also the lack of the distinctive yellow composite connector that we find on the previous Model B. Has analog video gone? Will it no longer be supported? No, it's still there. This is a 3.5mm audio jack, but the foundation has added a fourth pole to it, which means that you'll be able to get trusty analog video out of it. More of that in the future. Moving to the left, you'll see that there is the same familiar CSI connector for the official camera. Next, there is the HDMI port, which still supports full 1080p HD output. Continuing on, we see the micro USB power slot. This still needs 5 volts, but there's been a lot of changes to the powering of the Pi, and this means that it will use half a watt to a whole watt less of power. Now if we go to the left hand side of the board, you can see that there is the same familiar DSi connector for the upcoming display. But more than likely, you'll be wondering where is that big SD card? The answer? It's not there anymore. The new Pi uses microSD, and whilst this could be an inconvenience for those with normal size SDs, it is a much more logical decision as it cuts the footprint of the board right down and eliminates the risky SD card jutting out and consequently getting damaged. Another excellent change. Finally, if we move on to the upper side, you'll see that the GPIO is now larger. It has changed from a 26-pin connector to a 40-pin connector, which means that more GPIOs will be available. More details on that in the future. Luckily, the first 26 pins are the same as they were before, and this means that the B Plus will have backwards compatibility with already existing add-on boards. All of these changes will be great improvements, but I know that you'll all be wondering about the stuff at the centre of the board. The CPU and of course the RAM. These have not changed and will continue to be the same 700MHz Broadcom processor and 512 megs of RAM that have all come to love and appreciate. There have been lots of minor changes as well, improvements to do with things like USB hot plugging and also the addition of four squarely positioned mounting holes. Moving on, so in terms of software, the B Plus will continue to use Raspbian as a recommended OS, and as you can see, it works perfectly. Currently connected, I have a USB keyboard and mouse as well as two USB sticks. The Pi handled the hot plugging of those really well, and I had no trouble transferring my SD card image to a micro SD card. It should be business as usual in terms of software. So the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus looks to be a truly awesome improvement from the last model. Extra hardware and extra GPIOs are great. Oh, and did I mention that the price is the same? The B Plus is a worthy successor to the Model B, and I look forward to seeing it in the hands of you guys. From now on, I'm going to be doing most of my tutorials using a B+, how they should all be backwards compatible, so for the Model B owners, don't fret. It's good to see the hardware team at the Foundation hard at work offering the best Raspberry Pi experience they possibly can. I for one am delighted that they've released a new model. That's all for my first impressions, but rest assured we'll be seeing a lot more of the B+, in the future. Please subscribe, like, and until next time, bye!